Greetings, I am Lies. And I am Scandal. And let's build Love a dovecot together. Yes, dovecot. Dove coach, dovecot. I'm not sure. Dovecot, but I actually don't know. Mm. That's okay, though. Dovecot. Oh, Dove look at them. There they are. Aw, pretty birds. All right, here we go. Come on, verbs. Let's build the birdies. Vermin. Let's build a vermin house. I want to build one. Yes, let's do a it. A beautiful vermin house. Let's build the birdies a new house. Ever built a dovecot? Is that like a birdhouse? It's like a sort of like a condominium birdhouse. A big one, yeah, actually. And don't put it right there over uh, a bench. How about something like death? I, you're kidding. Oh, they look at the tree there as a, as a placeholder. Okay, okay, that's kind of kind of fun. Uh -huh. uh, that's way too small. For doves, that I... is way too small. I'm also, like, they all seem way too small. Like, this one is not bad at all. Like, that's more like pigeonhole kind of thing. Is it? As far, like, based on the size of their heads and the thing, and the birds and stuff, yes. I know, Say, but I'm also having a thing going, like, haven't the, usually the ones that we've seen, like, you really don't need anything that complex. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just, okay, it's a... Uh, like, this one's fun. not very pretty, but it seems the most practical. This one here, basically on the roundaboutness of it and how many there are, looks like they'd be very shallow interior, yes. like it wouldn't have much room. This one's got a lot more depth to it. Sure, and why not? And these ones really... The, the openings are way too small for yeah, the Yeah, like the houses are also like, way too no. damn small. Let's so, like, this would be fine. Yep, that's right, there we good. go. Dove coach. This? Uh, sure. Yeah. It's bird. No, we're not going to eat the birds. Birdalicious? Birdacious. House alicious. Birdacious? It's a bir birdacious. Yeah. yeah. You've said that one before. Oh, damn. I, it's one of my greatest hits, okay? Anyway, the pigeon should be a, a lot happier now, I think. I hope. And honestly, if you're able to clean in there, even though they're wild pigeons, you'll actually be able to, like, get some really valuable, like, bird droppings, because... It's actually really good fertilizer. They they make amazing fertilizer, much like bat fertilizer. It's good stuff. Clean it is. the benches. And by that, we mean one bench, because there's one dirty bench. There, there really is just one. A singular. Also, this, this kind of splatter poop experience, we've talked about this once before, that is an indicator of a very sick pigeon. That is a pigeon that has parasites, that has illnesses, that is not nourished correctly. Yes. The splatter poop experience is from a sick bird. You Which... tend to get firm little pellets. Yes. Um, when you have, and, and I say firm, it's sort of a loosely, like they're soft. Right. But they're pellets that do not have watery sh soup all over them when you have a healthy bird. Yes. So this is actually one of those things in regards to this, where it sounds like more the authors of this game probably had more of a context of going, that's just how these birds poop. And mm -hmm. I would be a little bit alarmed because I'm like, you're out in the middle of like, you know, a huge garden area You're not where the there's city. lots of grains, there's lots of things. They should going be on. able to have a healthy diet in uh, theory. Which, that, in, in theory, and I'm going, whoa, what's happening to the rest of your land now if that's that's what's going on, you know? Yeah, or are they all going and flying and eating in public parks where people are feeding them and eating the wrong diet and stuff and then coming back here kind of thing? Which seems... Because a lot of pigeons are sick from eating poorly and having parasites, things yeah. like that. But yeah, this is, this is very unhealthy pigeon poop. Yes. All right, let's get these benches wiped down, shall we? I, with our Ooh, bare little, hands, little, a little, fair little. amount of bird poop later. So much poop! poop. Uh, uh, uh. The theme of poop. You know what? It's amazing that, you know, the good dog has never made poop once with as much poop as there is right? in this world. All right. I'm also like, the dog is gone again. Yeah, the, the dog has vanished again. It's fine. We own uh. the dog, but we don't have the dog. It's fine. Hopefully they don't do that again. We yeah, well, if if they're not really perching over it and the back of it looks too wide for their feet, you're probably going to be fine. Yeah, it'd be fine. Generally, as long as they can't perch over it. Yeah, hopefully. I don't like interacting with bird poop any more than I have to. That, that's okay. That also sounds like potentially, maybe for Regina, what her issue was is that I have actually seen some people who are a little bit terrified by large groups of pigeons yeah. because they were trying to feed them and because somebody didn't teach them how to do it, they got the mobbed. pigeons mobbed them. Yeah. So, or I, like when you're feeding ducks, that kind of thing. Yes. Um, that it can just, wild birds can get very excited about the food and just sort of plow you over. Uh huh. And it can be very intimidating. Yes. Or start jumping on you, flapping at you, that kind of thing. Right. All right. Hey, uh, Regina? What's up? Ah, uh, I just wanted you to know that I really appreciate all of your help and the fact that you do it all on a tab. Oh, and no matter what you told me last week, I'm going to pay you for your time. What? That's good. What? What? Whatevs. What? Wait. She had a bill wait, running wait, for us. Wait, 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 wait. That okay. makes no fucking sense because if I'm reading that right, I do not recall in the last week her saying, and if you're going to pay me, you can just take your time or something like that, because that's what that sounds like to me. And no matter what you said, I am going to pay you back. Uh -huh. Like kind of thing, I'm like, 
Did you literally, are you saying that somehow there was a conversation both Liza and I missed? The only, where, Reg, where Regina went, oh, don't worry about it. The only conversation I remember is, I will add it to your bill. And if that was meant to be playfully of like, how I'll add it to your bill, like the way friends say to each other when like I cleaned your house and going, oh God, I owe you one for that. I'll add it to your bill. But that's not what this is. No. Regina has been a professional since she, since the passing of the first week where she volunteered to help us for free. That's different. And Lily's been doing a tab and Regina's never agreed to work for free after that. And we assume Luke has been paying her. Like... The thing is, is there is no reason for her to do this material heavy, time heavy work just because and without rediscussing the arrangement. Aye. So her just going, ah, we're friends. You don't need to pay me unless she's just basically like, you know what, Lils? I know you're potentially filthy, stinking rich, but I am so good off right now that you really don't have to pay me. Like I have so many good big contracts and my husband makes so much money. And honestly, we inherited from essentially my dad set me up really well. Mm. Honestly, with my friends, I can just do it for free. Like, unless there's some kind of context like that, this feels super freaking weird. I do not. Whatevs. We're friends. I feel I, it's very strange. No, I... Yeah, and friends don't well, let I, friends work for free, which is good and fair, honestly. Yes. Because even and if especially it's not money, like a good exchange compensation for your time, respecting that your friend is a professional and does receive compensation is important. <clears throat> Go ahead. I will also... Sorry, I was just burping there. I was ah. saying, honestly, there's also a problem that I'm having is going, like, Regina is also clearly delivering on her time. It's not yes. like she's spending too long on this. She immediately shows up. She magics her way through everything. That she's is... She's very professional in her yes. behavior, as though she's working a job. Yes. Um... And I'm like, I am personally uncomfortable with that, because sometimes... Yes, we have had people, for example, who'd be like, hey, we're going to do stuff for you. And I'm like, I appreciate that. Fan art is one thing, but like going, hi, I'm going to do something I'll for you. I'll offer you a service. Right? I feel like it's different. Now, Even with a small channel like ours, we've been offered services a couple of times. And it's like, unless we're going to pay you for them, the answer is no. Like, but again, fan art, super welcome. Like, right? But, uh, and even if it's like fan art, like... This was inspired by your playthrough, if it doesn't have direct relation. Right. We would totally take it and share it. But maybe that's also just kind of a way that I've looked at things. And sometimes, yes, I totally understand friends will do things for each other. But There's yeah, also that people... thing, too, of going like, these guys intimately know each other, and I'm still like... I feel like that's inappropriate because you know how expensive, like, woodworking and all this stuff that she's doing actually is? Like, this is... I, I, I guess that kind of sounds like then I'm just trying to make an excuse for going like, well, that's so much more money, so that's worth more. And I'm like... It's, it's your time. You are always worth your, like, your time, no matter who you are, get, you guys, if you do work, you should get paid for it. Right. And the like, thing is, is genuinely, again, I think that's what friends comes can down decide to. among each other, but these people barely know each other. They haven't arranged it beforehand. And this level of, like, guest culture slash, you know, disagreement is very awkward for me. I don't like All right. this. Yeah. Even for friends. <laughs> All right. Well, you're welcome. And money is always good. Also, this could be some level of polite deference, which is also possible. Yes. Like, no, no, you don't need to pay me. And you expect that they will never take you up on that because they're a good person and they'll pay you. Yes. I've had that before, too, people, where people do, do two or three levels of going, no, 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 you don't have to pay me back. And then they're super relieved when you go, and look, I'm going to pay you back. Right. And, or they're just like, yes, you know, like that's 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 where we were heading for. Like it's a social convention of this back and forth. Yes. Going, no, 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 I don't need it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I insist. Oh, no, thank you. Oh, I insist. However, within the United States, I feel like that's less common than, say, like in an, Asi like in an Asian culture. And I will like in argue Japan. that, and I will say that coming from low income and a lot of people who are passive-aggressive, poor communicators, it was extremely uh, common. Uh, all right, well, that's And fair. I don't know if it's an income bracket thing, but it I might know be. Liza and I had a pff, scandal. <laughs> I like you too. You can talk about yourself. Myself. I'll we had you. very different childhoods from each God, other. we had really different childhoods. It's true. But yeah, me and my friend Scandal here, we had really different childhoods, so we have a lot of different social experiences because yes, yeah honestly for me there was also that thing of growing up really honestly because we had so much money when mm -hmm. i was a kid you could just be like yeah sure it's totally fine like really and i do mean that uh -huh. and didn't have to worry about it though i do remember that because of also my mormon background though that was actually more of the polite thing to do and you still kind of vaguely expect though that that person because people still pay gonna, what you're there do uh-huh uh -huh, except that it usually didn't work out like that and i didn't really always understand that that was what was going on uh -huh. right. uh, and it's been a very frustrating habit and i will say habit to basically deal with because whoa ah we did the sitting there it is i'm also like why did we get a grid of a perfectly good functioning lime tree like <sighs> damn know. we could have just trimmed off the dead branches and even just been harvesting fruit right then you know what make a limeade stand to go with your damn honey stand you've got lemons and limes hey that sounds great to be tasty honestly Ooh, like you can sell honey. fruit Ooh, you could make you your own lemon lime 
Oh, you say you can yeah. flavor your honey sticks. A lot of people do yeah. flavored honey sticks. And in fact, if no, you're no. not familiar with flavored honey straws, they are one, super good. And yes. two, they usually sell them for about 50 cents a piece. Yeah. So, you know, they would make you a lot more bang for your buck kind of right. thing. Right. Anyway, this is again where we were like, Lily, you should be selling your honey for like way more. So Holy much shit. more. Holy crap. We got a lot done today. <sighs> Considering this whole area was just a big ugly hanger this morning? Yeah. I'd say so. And then we folded all of it up into a tiny little box, capsule, capsule corp style, and put it in the back of Luke's truck. Bye! Bye-bye! Hey, I know you're gonna need more help, but I have to go to an appointment with my grandpa tomorrow. That's fine. Oh, uh, no worries. I know people can't always drop everything for me, and honestly, I don't expect you to be dropping anything for me, and I really hope that you're just spending, you know, your extra time over here, even though I like seeing you. It's really weird that we never hang out outside of the context of work. We should hang out sometime, because that could be fun. Well, I'm like, uh, yeah, actually. Like, if you are in that way... If you're trying to build friendship more, right? going, the picnic was one thing, and that was pretty cool, but, like, we should actually <clears> just <throat> hang out with each other. Date your friends. Uh, even in a non romantic way. Yeah, that's yes. what I'm, I'm thinking, Go like, out with them. Don't just do work with them. Right? right. I'm like, honestly, it's sometimes it could be really interesting and like if you want to know people more really like directly be like hey want to go out on a friend date i have essentially done without ever labeling it that way platonic dates with my friends forever going if we've only been spending time together and one there's like tension or like dis dissatisfaction building and there's someone i really care about or we've only been spending time together in like a work context like you only see each other for work or chores or getting jobs done right there's a this this intention of going hey let's go do something fun at some point now i can be the biggest party pooper for that that kind of experience going no we still have so much to do right but once you schedule it in around your priorities rather than just let's just drop everything and be spontaneous kind of thing because i can be spontaneous but it's definitely within the context of urgency right you know um that, that it's just it can be really really cool to like go date your friends be like let's go on a walk by the river together let's do whatever it is we like together together I, all right that's amazing all right i'm gonna head, go head out and see if i can schedule an appointment with my therapist to talk about these pigeons actually that's that incredibly is... aware going i didn't realize this was as big of a problem with me either still or now and i have a therapist and i'm gonna go address this thing Whoa, now that i've got I... it. that's a little wild wow major kudos to you also though part of me is like please also go talk to your therapist about your issues with your husband that would also be good you or sound... your distrust of men in general yes on like... the other hand going this might be a thing of going i see a therapist regularly but i'm gonna schedule a separate appointment for this now that i've realized it's a bigger thing right oh god really poor baby that's like, no uh, that is rude as, as hell. Shit. No. Like, therapy is super valuable to people. In the same way that having any kind of social support and, um, like, help is really valuable to people. I... I'm just like, that sounds so much mocking of therapy. And her, her flat face, like, her, like, really, is appropriate, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, that's really goddamn rude. Uh-huh. Out of my way, flying rats! Ugh! I, maybe we should have no, put that, that was... dove cut, like, way the heck over here and not on the main walkway where you can't avoid it. Yeah, no shit. I'm also yeah. like, that was... The, that would no no yeah. that was that was shit that was super rude like whoa wow lily fucking why i don't know and oh, you no, really just... don't feel you really feel like that was appropriate like that was just fine that that was fine all right well we're gonna go ahead and start a new day and see what happens that was apparently the day i that was really? a pretty big day but it took like three four episodes that wasn't too bad well that's okay I, that, that's all right i I'm still though like we also have a lot of opinions so sometimes they take a lot longer they too do, do like, it do it! Give it to me. I want the new day. Ah, yes. Oh, everything you didn't load, just the green. It was like, was wah! Good night, flowers. Good night, bees. Good night, one entire layer of work I don't need to do anymore. Where did I put all that stuff from inside of the huge ass barn anyway? That whole hangar had everything in it that I wanted to commemorate my aunt with, and, and I now don't it's seem all to have put it anywhere. Gone. Oh, that's right. Opens her front door. It's all here. I can't even walk into my living room. Uh, I had forgotten. Dang. Day 16. Do, do, Dead do, 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 people. Do. I, corpses everywhere. <laughs> oh, God, the zombie apocalypse. This game has just changed. Now, oh. match three for your life to defend against yeah. the zombies. Yes. Hey. Suddenly Good you can't versus them. morning, birdies. Good morning, bees. Good, Good morning, morning. something who shouldn't be here. Good morning. There it is. Luke? <laughs> I... Addy! Sleep okay? I... Uh, yeah. Got in my same clothes as always. How are you? I guess. How's Karen? Didn't she stay over last night? Yeah, she did. But man, she let me have it last night. I... You guys actually talk to each other? That oh. could be great. Uh, what do you mean? 
<sighs> She's real mad at me. Said I was ignoring her all day yesterday. Wasn't listening. And she sure didn't like the bike or the play tower. I mean, you don't seem to have a lot of practice communicating with your child, but her having an outburst like that can actually be a really healthy sign of, I've had tons of stuff pent up, I don't even know where to start, but I'm trying to start, so good bouncing off point, even I if guess? it's a little rough. I kind of got that feeling, but like, You know, yeah. invasively, you when I was the I don't person. know when you weren't listening to her hanging out with her yesterday, though, because she never did come over like, like, we never saw her at all, So, and you were working with us for half the day, so, whatever then. So, does that mean she's here today? Yeah, she's supposed to be over today, and he's supposed uh, to drag her and around. And so over he's here. run over here to go. Bleh! My kid, who's supposed to be coming over today, I didn't go up. well. I okay. Well, she talked to you about it, so that's good, right? Also, you could help make those things fun, like the bike. You could just maybe go exchange it if you bought it brand new, or have a receipt or something like that. Right. Um, let her pick out another one. And right. uh, as far as like the slide and stuff, try playing with her with it. Maybe like, that can make it more fun. Or bring over some other kids. That could help too. I mean, I'm glad she told me, but oof. Either that, or you could just swap Walk it out to be it. something oof, more oof. what she likes. Like, does she want more like a treehouse? You could do that. All right. Anyway, I need a big favor. I gotta run an errand, and I can't bring Karen. So you're asking me to babysit your child Again. and your dog. I he never. Uh, oh yeah, he did ask before, didn't he? I'll say, <sighs> Karen, the daughter that you were just not and just now allowed to start seeing again, and you, you really have to are. Remember, you are calling him out. Also, why? I appreciate that, but I'm also like, I don't like this trope. I don't he know. is. I'm like, he's written to be a dumbass. And while I that is also the so thing, poorly that suddenly there's this thing that I can't handle. I'm also like, though, sometimes emergencies happen. So in some way, you could also argue that Lily's being an asshole. Him yeah. going, I cannot take my child. I have to go do this thing. I have a neighbor that I've been trusting. So, hey, by the way, since you seem to be getting along with my child maybe a little bit, maybe you could just watch her for a little bit. And I've explained to her what's going to happen since I have to go do this thing. Because sometimes that fucking happens. But it seems this feels like a very weird interaction. I don't like this. I know, I know, but it's true. She can't be there. Do you think you'll watch her for a few hours for me? Uh, sure. Gonna go see your mistress? I feel like this is the next line. That's the heterosexual ribbing you do when you're hitting on someone, yeah. but they're not responding the way you want. That's my knowledge of the culture. Ha ha. Yeah. I, I'm working on the hangar garden today. What are the odds she'll want to participate? Maybe she can just run around the gardens and play. There's a lot of stuff. She can there always hang out with bubbles. A ton of there stuff. There's so much stuff. There's also, does oh. she like fishing? Does she like rowing in a rowboat? Right. Does she like block and tackle? I mean, there's a lot of stuff to do. There is so much she could do. She can also climb in all the old, dead, dangerous trees in the parts I haven't uncovered yet. That'd hey, be great. That'd be awesome. She'll just, you know, sit on a branch and die when it breaks. Oh, maybe not that. Uh, uh -huh. Oh, slim to zilch, probably. What does she like doing? I feel like, unfortunately, actually, Karen's going to be, because he's supposed to be an idiot, Karen will go, that's great! This is so good! And he'll be like, it is? Yeah, well, we'll see. Promise me it's important. Why is she being so resistant? <sighs> Promise. I do I... not know. Okay, okay. Get out of here, Beatnik, except for you should probably bring your kid over yourself, or I should go get her with you, because that'd be the polite way to do this, yeah, rather than we... just having a stranger show up or her walking herself thank over you, Thank you, thank you, thank you! Oh, God! Also, the mailman came! I... What? Uh, what? I check my mail, sir. Sir? I... Last time I was alone with Karen was okay, but the first time was unplanned, undirected. She didn't know who you were. Incredibly you were a total invasive. stranger being really invasive in her dad's space when she was doing something she wasn't supposed to do. Like, but I need to yeah, be your parent But now. it needs to be so good every time, no matter what. Even if I just walked into your space without even really having any connection to you, you should totally be good with me. Well, first, I'm going to tend to my number one survival strategy. Procrastination. Gotta go check my mailbox. Yeah, I'm so glad that at the beginning when I just added in the procrastination, uh -huh. they, the writers eventually went the same direction as me, and I'm like, yes, I I predicted you before you even got there. Excellent. So good. So right. so good. Check the mailbox. Sure, why not? Let's Come do here, it. mailbox. Mailbox. Hello. Uh, how's um uh vibe check. Um, uh, mailbox. Oh. All right, what'd you bring for me, Mr. Mailman? Also, uh, how's my honey doing, and has anything changed? Has anybody has stolen be... the lockbox? Or anybody, yeah. Uh, all right, junk, bill, oof. Buy one rotisserie chicken, get one free. Hey, Karen, want some rotisserie chicken? Oh, hey, dog, you want some chicken, too? Damn, I'm still craving pizza. Ooh. And a second notice from the state tax board. He didn't even ask me to watch his dog this time. She's just here. 
Ah, just gonna ignore it. <laughs> Why are you talking to your mailbox? I talk to everything, honey, and I also call you endearments that are over familiar when I'm nervous. Ha! <laughs> oh, hey, Karen, your dad tell you we're gonna hang out today for a while, and by that I mean you'll just be on my property and I need to do work because I use up two of my days, you know, helping him instead of doing my stuff. <sighs> yeah. Hope you brought your phone and whatever else you like to do. Oh, come on. I am not that bad, and by that I mean my whole ass garden's a huge damn place to do stuff. It's not you. You're okay. Good, because I needed that validation, because I really what? don't like myself. Dad just left me here on purpose! That's true. He left willfully. He wasn't dragged out. He said it was really important. Should only be gone for a bit, and by that he said a few hours. Hmm. I am dog. How about we take a little walk and uh, check out the memorial garden I have just made? Okay. I guess. Alrighty. Well, my friends, that is it for this one. Excellent. Round. It is true. If you like what we do, please feel free then to like, comment, and subscribe, because next time we're going to be here with Karen. Ah, we will. And we're going to have more assumptive parenting techniques, uh, I'm sure. Or I need to be validated through my neighbor's child or my love interest's child. child. If they like me, the world, world is good. good. Blah, 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 blah. I am All fulfilled right. as a woman. Who In knows? the meantime. Ah, then also, if you want to support us more directly, please feel free to go check out our Ko-Fi and our Patreon. We've got some links in the description down below. Yes. And I have been scandal and I have been lies and it was great, great playing, playing with, with you. you bye